Hi there, Karen Balencic here. Well, I let myself get tricked and it's not even Halloween yet. And I'd like to share this with you when things just do not make sense. Don't get tricked. And I call this my mailbox metaphor that I think I'm gonna use that word from here on out. So when things don't make sense, um, it happens a lot in organizations where there's a, some kind of something changes and it just doesn't make any logical sense to people. So this is my story. I mail my letters down at the corner in a um, secure post office box with the United States Post Office. And I've done that for years. And one day I showed up to put my letters in there and lo and behold, the mailbox is totally gone totally gone and it's like where did it go well I stopped in a local business and asked the owner I said what happened to the mailbox and she said well they are trying to save money and they took it out of there I guess they're gonna take them out all the all over the place well and I said well that doesn't make sense and she says I know so so anyway so I actually kind of shared that with some other people believing that it was true mistake number one and, um, and then a, about a week passed and I passed that parking lot again and lo and behold, there the mailbox is. It's replaced, it's much shinier and prettier than the one that was there. It's probably um, not as rusty as well and perhaps maybe more secure. So, so it came back. So the, the rumor was that it was because they were saving money and that was not true. So I call that my mailbox metaphor. And so when I find when I work with teams so frequently, some change happens and nobody understands, or it might not even be a change, it might be something management decides to do. And people don't understand it because it does not make sense to them. <laughs> and it's so fascinating to see how people will make up stories so that it makes sense to them and it's the stories usually are always really negative about their leadership something to think about so here's three things my three pieces of advice one for everybody for just everybody when something doesn't make sense perhaps it just isn't true maybe your assumptions are just false I mean, you don't have enough information number two if you're in leadership you know communicate things uh, post post you know a posted sign with saying temporary removal of the post office whatever would have been really helpful and it would have saved a lot of people a lot of judgment and angst <laughs> and then the third thing is if you're in leadership create those relationships with your people where they feel comfortable enough saying to you gosh I noticed this it just doesn't make sense what's going on um, so that so that people feel comfortable really asking those questions. And even beyond that, um, sometimes there's changes that, that, um, that may not be a, a, a specific change someone responds to, but just something they observe the organization doing long term. Great idea to ask your people every once in a while, say, what dumb things are we doing around here? And you know what that does, it just creates a huge opening for people to share because if you're the leader and you're saying what dumb things are we doing it kind of gives people the permission to say she or he recognizes that we probably are doing some dumb things and I'm I'm able to tell them what that is so that's it so don't get your don't let yourself be tricked when things don't make sense there's probably a reason and that is all and I also just want to end on the note of I think always giving people the benefit of the doubt is a, is a great way to go. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.